working round the clock to save lives. This doctor is performing a tracheostomy, making a surgical airway on a patient with severe COVID-19. We're in the COVID ICU of the Ernst von Bachmann Hospital in Potsdam, just outside Berlin. Where the number of coronavirus patients requiring intensive care has dramatically risen in recent weeks, and they expect things to get worse. If that carries on uh, with that speed that we are uh, that we are experiencing right now, uh, I would imagine that even our hospital with uh, uh, over a thousand beds is um, at a point or will come to a point where we can't. Um, well, we have to send patients home, or not home, but to other hospitals um, to, to get them treated. When we visited, only two of the 16 ICU beds were vacant. The staff was already canceling other non-urgent operations to free up capacity and making plans to convert more of its general intensive care facility into COVID ICUs. Germany has one of the best healthcare systems in the world, but it's continuing to see high numbers of new coronavirus infections and more and more people requiring treatment in ICUs. One of the things that the government has said, if the current trajectory continues the way it is right now, even Germany's healthcare system could be overwhelmed in a matter of weeks. And that could be bad news for all of Europe. Germany has been taking in COVID patients from neighboring countries whose healthcare systems are overwhelmed. For now, they can continue to do that, but it's not clear for how much longer. Official data shows the amount of COVID-19 patients in German ICUs jumped from about 260 to almost 3,600 in just two months. Even many younger patients with severe symptoms, a senior physician says. We have patients of 30, 40 years here who are on the ventilator and I'm not sure if they survive. Germany has recently seen a string of demonstrations against the country's anti-pandemic measures. Many protesters denying the severity of the virus considered a slap in the face by frontline medical workers working hard to keep people alive. I also sometimes hear people say things like, it's almost like a regular flu, the chief nurse says. We just cannot understand people who talk that way. Germany is still far away from such scenarios. There are thousands of ICU beds available in the country, but the head of Potsdam's intensive care division says beware of the outbreak's dynamic. Nationwide, um, the numbers are climbing and they're still climbing and they're not uh, coming down at the moment. And while the staff here can provide top-notch care, they urge people to protect themselves from the virus to minimize the risk of ever winding up in the COVID ICU ward. Fred Pleiken, CNN, Potsdam, Germany.